Hey my friends, Sean Terry here, coming to you from the studios at theautomationschool.com. In this episode of The Automation Show, I want to talk to you about using panel view standards with control logics and compact logics on either Data Highway Plus or Data Highway 45. I don't know if you've noticed in the previous episodes, we didn't do that. And the reason is, if my memory is correct, the only way you can use controller tags or tags from your control logics or compact logics in a project for the panel view standard in panel builder 32 is if that panel view is the ethernet version. Now I tried to corroborate this both using Rockwell's uh, website and the manuals and I couldn't, I couldn't find anything on it. There may be some um, tech notes behind the paywall that I don't have access to at Rockwell that maybe talks about this in more in depth, but none of the public ones did. And um, the manual didn't talk about this either. The help file did make it sound like it was possible and I did try it, but it didn't work. I could not use uh, tags as addresses like, you know, tag A, you know, bracket zero bracket um, in lieu of like N7 colon zero. I just could not get it to work. I tried both on Data Highway Plus and on Data Highway 45. So I'm going to say that my memory is correct and that you couldn't use those tags from the control logics in your panel view standard data highway plus data highway 45 projects so what do you do well there is a feature let me show it to you before we do that though i want to say a big thank you to all our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash automation who support the show if you'd like to learn how you can support our show with a small monthly pledge and get all kinds of rewards and insider news um, check out our site over at patreon.com forward slash automation now with that said let's go over to the computer and I'm going to actually switch over to my other VM here where I have Logics. And this is the program we had been working on here uh, during this season. I'm going to go to Logic and I'm going to go to Map PLC SLC Messages. And here I've mapped a lot of the uh, data. I actually renamed some of these so they were easier to understand. So these are, these are the uh, arrays of integers that we're reading data into over DH45, DH plus, and Ethernet. This is what we've been doing earlier in the year in this uh, in this uh, season of the automation show. And um, I've actually mapped integer files, or just files, to these arrays. So here you can see um, 27, that would be N27, is mapped to this data 27, which is an integer array. And so by doing that, I can now have the panel view talk to the control logics like it's a PLC5 or Slick 500 or MicroLogics. So with that done, downloaded into the controller and the controller running, let's go back here to Panel Builder 32 and edit the project we created last time to see if we can get this to work. And what we'll do here is we will start off with, um, let's see, up here I want to go to Tags. Okay, and I'm just going to duplicate these. Okay, let me go ahead and just make a copy of these. Okay, and we will call these L63. Okay, L63. Two more to go. L63. And last but not least. Okay, so now let me sort this column. Okay, now, you know what I didn't do? I didn't create the node, though. Let me go to Terminal Setup, and we will go to Com Setup, and I will add in a new node. And we're on Data Highway Plus, and I believe my DHRIO, I can see this in links, I believe my DHRIO is 10. Yes, address 10 here. See it right there. Okay, so let's add L63 at address 10. And at this point, it doesn't matter if I tell it's a 510 or it's a, a SIC 500 or whatnot. So let me go ahead and click OK there. Okay. Okay. So let's come over here and see if we can change the node name now. L63. L63. We'll do it two more times. Okay, and now the addresses we have here are incorrect because 
First of all, they need to be N27. That's where I mapped the Micrologix 1400 data to, N27. And then it's going to start at 0. 0 through 49, not 50 through 99. Because when I read in 50 through 99, I put them in, in that array at the beginning. So N27, um, 0, 3, 13, 23, and 33. I made them all off by 10 just because when we're doing my factory, this is the program for my factory talk view course. And uh, I wanted everything to kind of make sense for my students in that course. So I offset all those speeds by 10. So let me come over here and change these. So first of all, we'll make these 27. And then we'll do 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, great. So now with that done, let's go back to our display here. And I'm going to select these. I'll do a Control C, Control V. Put them over here. See if I can make this wider and smaller. Whoops. Control Z to undo. I don't like, oh, well, maybe. Okay, good. So let's change these tags to be the L63 tags. L63 text. Whoops, what happened there? L63. Excellent. All right, so now we're ready to validate and then try it out. So application, validate all. No errors found. Great. Well, uh, let's save it as a new name. Save as, uh, let's see, we'll put an L63 at the end there. How's that? Excellent. So now let's download it. I'm going to download using serial again. So we'll do download. Uh, yeah, something's obscured. I don't care. That's these warnings here. I don't care about obscuring. And we'll use this same driver we used last time. That's RS Links Classic. See it right here. Okay, now it's downloading. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video. Okay, now the panel has uh, booted up and we can see the data coming in from the L63 as well. So it's kind of a shame that we can't use the controller tags in here or any tags, program all controller tags from the compact logics or control logics over Data Highway 45 or Data Highway Plus. At least everything I tried did not work. And if my memory's right, that only works with Ethernet. But uh, there still is a way to get around that um, by mapping. Uh, you know, an array of integers to a um, to a file number, right? And that gives us that legacy, that backward compatibility. So with that said, that's the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know anybody who's looking for a Panel View Plus course or a Control Logics, Compact Logics, Micro Logics, VSC course, please have them check out my courses over at theautomationschool.com. I also want to say a huge thank you to all my patrons over at patreon.com forward slash automation. Really appreciate your support. And uh, if you want to find out more, check out that website and you can uh, become an insider. You get early access to these videos and get all kinds of free stuff too. With that said, I just want to wish you all a great week. And until next time, peace.